हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू ऑल सो लेट इस कंटिन्यू फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स एंड दिस इज़ द सिक्सटीन वीडियो ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर लेसन अंटिल नाउ वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ फाइनेंशियल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स विच इज़ द इक्विटी फाइनेंसिंग राइट सो वी मस्ट हैव यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड द वर्ड लाइक शेयर मार्केट्स राइट स्टॉक मार्केट्स ओके सेंसेक्स बॉम्बे स्टॉक एक्सचेंज एंड दिस डिफरेंट वर्ड्स यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी दैट एंड देर आर गोइंग टू बी अबाउट एट टू टेन वीडियोज ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक एंड इन विच वी विल कवर ईच एंड एवरी थिंग विच इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर दिस एग्जाम ओके बिफोर वी स्टार्ट लेट एस डू अ लिटिल रिकैप सो बेसिकली एज वी नो दैट यू नो करेंटली वी आर स्टडिंग द कैपिटल मार्केट्स सो कैपिटल मार्केट्स आर बेसिकली लॉन्ग टर्म इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स मार्केट ओके वेर लॉन्ग टर्म इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स आर ट्रेडेड लॉन्ग टर्म मीनिंग मोर देन और इक्वल टू थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव डेज सो दैट इज नोन एज कैपिटल मार्केट्स इन कैपिटल मार्केट्स ऑल्सो देर आर टू टाइप्स वन इज द डेट मार्केट एंड अनदर वन इज द एक्विटी मार्केट ओके सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड द डेट मार्केट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द एक्विटी मार्केट्स ओके Now let us look at uh, understand first of all the basics. What is the meaning of equity financing? So see, in order to start a new business or to expand the existing business, a company or an entrepreneur needs capital, right? He will need money for investing. So if, for example, there is a business and he wants to expand his business, for example, there is a company which is, uh, uh, you know, having some uh, warehouses, some warehousing company. Uh, for example, Amazon. Say, so Amazon is an online trading platform. Okay, uh, sorry, Amazon is a e-commerce platform, and uh, this Amazon. Say, for example, now it is uh, currently operating in uh, four Indian cities of Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata, and Chennai. Now it wants to expand to another uh, cities like Bangalore, Hyderabad, Bhubaneswar. Okay, uh, other cities also, Lucknow and like Dehradun, different cities. So it wants to expand in another ten cities of India. so now for this expansion it will need money because it will have to make go downs it will have to build offices etc so many different things so for this expansion it will need money it will need capital for investing so here i have explained to you with a diagram so here is a business say amazon and it needs 100 crore of investment okay it needs 100 crore of investment now there is a entrepreneur who has this company who owns this company who is the promoter of this company Now out of this hundred crore, say he has his ten crore own capital. So उसका खुद का अपना पैसा है दस करोड़ रुपए. He has his own ten crore rupees. Now where he will get the remaining ninety crore rupees, right? The remaining ninety crore rupees he has to raise. So this is known as raising money. Okay, this is known as raising money. Hindi में इसको बोलते हैं मार्केट से पैसा उठाना. Okay, पैसा उठाना. ऐसा बोलते हैं इसको. So he has to raise money. now he has two options of raising money so the first option is that he can borrow the money from the market by issuing debentures or bonds or or another option is to take loans from the bank okay so he can issue issue corporate debentures okay debentures of 90 crore rupees to the public and that is how he can get the money so this is a kind of debt instrument another option is that he can take loan from a bank he can he can uh, say uh, approach uh, state bank of india sbi and he will ask for loan from the bank that is one option second option he has is that he can issue shares of his company to the public who will buy these shares so you know this is known as equity financing so what he will do this 90 crore he will issue shares worth 90 crore in the market and now people will subscribe to these shares people will buy these shares buying this share meaning these people are giving money to him okay the people are giving money to the company in order to do this investment how exactly this procedure happens we will see it is not so simple procedure it is a very complicated and very detailed procedure but just for understanding the concept of equity financing this very simplistic example i am giving you okay so he will issue shares and public will buy that shares and that is how he gets the money So now basically whoever is investing in a company's equity so whoever is buying these shares in a way become part owner of that company okay so if you are buying share of a company why is it called share because it is a share in the ownership okay it is a share in the ownership 
सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल से इफ ही इज इशूइंग शेयर ऑफ नाइन्टी करोड़ रुपीज एंड आउट ऑफ दैट नाइन्टी करोड़ रुपीज इफ समबडी समबडी इज बाइंग शेयर ऑफ नाइन्टी लैख रुपीज ओके सो फॉर नाइन्टी करोड़ नाइन्टी लैख इज हाउ मच नाइन्टी लैख इज वन परसेंट सो दैट पर्सन बिकम्स ओनर ऑफ वन परसेंट ऑफ दैट कंपनी ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर एंटायर इन्वेस्टमेंट ओके फॉर ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर एंटायर इन्वेस्टमेंट दैट इज देयर so he becomes a part owner of that uh, company now ownership of the percentage of the total business for which he has bought shares okay ownership of the total uh, business so for example here the 90 crore is the shares okay but the total but he has also invested 10 crore of his own right so the total investment the total investment is 100 crores okay so this 90 lakhs will be compared with this 100 crore and not the uh, and not just the 90 crore okay so 90 lakh divided by 100 crore so it is slightly less than 1% so it is maybe around 0.95% or something like that okay so he becomes owner of 0.95% now this promoter this promoter who has invested his own 10 crore rupees that is also part of this 100 crore so he is owner of 10% okay he is owner of 10% of the business so he is the largest shareholder maybe so other other shareholders for example common public they are holding like very very minuscule amount of shares like 1% 0.1% 2% 1 but this is a single largest shareholder 10% he is holding that's why he is known as the promoter of the company okay now in this case if out of 90 crore one person buys shares of say rupees 1 crore then he becomes owner of 1% of the company 1 crore out of 100 crore he is owning that's why he is the owner of 1% of the company so that is is the that is the simple meaning of equity equity financing okay so in this particular video we are only going to study the basics now how it happens in real life see in real life a business usually does a mix of debt and equity financing so this entire 90 crore uh, the company will not go for either debt or equity but it will go for a mix so maybe for example it will take a loan of 10 crore then it will uh, issue bonds of say another 20 crore and remaining 60 crore maybe it will issue the equity so that depends on the market conditions and there are so many financial advisors and economists who will advise this company what to what is to be done which is the best way to access finance See, ultimately company needs money so it will need money uh, you know it will need access to finance right right so which is the best way to get the money where the returns where it will have to pay the lowest interest right and uh, because the equity financing is not that accessible so if it is a new company so nobody will take buy shares of that company so easily so equity financing it is not very easily accessible debt financing may be easily accessible it can go approach a bank and if it has some assets it can show it as a collateral and take loans something like that so it is um, so it has to look at all the factors and usually both debt and equity financing is done and the ratio of total debt of a company to the total equity of a company is known as de ratio okay de ratio try to remember this debt to equity ratio and this ratio of a company is important when banks want to give loans to a company so banks whenever say for example this amazon company it approaches the state bank of india so it will look at its financial statement and in it, in its financial statement it will look at the de ratio so for example amazon has already taken uh, debt or it has already raised the debenture money say for example 100 crore rupees okay and the total equity that initially also they may have issued some shares so say for example the total equity it is it has of 1000 crore okay so debt to equity ratio is 1 is to 10 so it will look at this ratio as to you know how much debt it has already taken how much loan it has already taken and depending on that the banks will take decisions fine so uh, okay so equity basically let us revise equity uh, holders are basically the owners of company they have the proprietorship of the company and the unit of equity is known as shares or stocks okay shares and stocks are sold so one share is is one unit of the total equity okay now equity shareholder because they are the owners they are kind of you know getting an ownership in the company they are owning the company so they have the last claim during liquidation okay last claim during liquidation but they also have voting rights so they can vote during the critical decision of the company so they have voting rights but 
दे गेट द लास्ट क्लेम ड्यूरिंग लिक्विडेशन सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ अ कंपनी वॉन्ट्स टू क्लोज डाउन इट वॉन्ट्स टू शट इट्स बिजनेस द इट इज नोन एज वाइंडिंग अप ओके द कंपनी वॉन्ट्स टू वाइंड अप और बिकॉज ऑफ सम प्रॉब्लम इट इट हैज़ टू लिक्विडेट सो वेन एवर द कंपनी गेट्स लिक्विडेटेड इक्विटी शेयर होल्डर विल बी पेड लास्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बॉन्ड होल्डर्स विल बी पेड एंड आफ्टर दैट इक्विटी होल्डर विल बी पेड सो दैट इज हाउ इट हैपन्स ओके Now, what is the income or returns that equity investors will get? Now, for example, you will ask the question that if I am investing in shares of a particular company, okay, then what is the return, annual return that I will get? Because in bonds we get a coupon, right? In bonds we can get coupon, or we, if it is a zero coupon bond, then you know the bonds are sold at discount, and that is how we get the returns. So, in equity, what is the return? So, in most of the equity, you know, you get dividends. Okay, the company will pay annual dividends out of its profit. For example, this any uh, this Amazon company, it is making a profit of ten crore per annum. So, out of this ten crore, it will it will keep eight crore with it. Okay, it is known as retained earnings. So, uh, the company will keep eight crore with it, and the remaining two crore it will distribute to its shareholders. So, this is known as dividends. This is known as dividend distribution. Okay, so it will get dividends, but it is not done in all the shares. All the companies don't pay dividends. Okay, it is not compulsory that it will pay dividends. The best return that people get is the capital gains. Okay. capital gains now what is the meaning of capital gains for example today you are buying amazon share at say rupees 1000 each okay and tomorrow uh, like say after 2 years uh, the price of the share is 1500 okay after 2 years so what is the profit you get you get 500 rupees per share in 2 years okay in 2 years so what is your return in 1 year it is 250 rupees 250 rupees per year that is your return and you are getting this 250 rupees on 1000 rupees investment so your profit is 25% this is the return this is a rough calculation of return that you are getting okay uh, the issuers of the equity they have no repayment obligation okay uh, for example if a company amazon company is issuing its share and it is selling its share worth 90 crore rupees to the public so this 90 crore rupees they are not obligated to return to the people because people are voluntarily buying the shares they want to become the owners of the company so amazon is not obligated to pay back that money okay that is why they have the last claim during liquidation also and uh, therefore it is a comparatively high risk investment equity is a high risk investment that debt then debt and debentures equity shares uh basically one more difference is that equity shares is the asset of a company whereas debt capital is a liability of a company okay so this is very important so debt capital it has to return to the people right it has to be returned so that is why it is a liability whereas equity share it is their own money it is the owner's money that's why it is the asset of the company this also you have to keep in mind now there are broadly there are two types of equity shares there are two types of shares one is known as ordinary share or common stock and another one is known as preference share or preferred stock so uh, we will discuss in detail about this in the next video okay but just try to keep this in mind and uh, we'll continue this topic in the next video thank you